Hey everyone, uh, welcome to the Hazardous Intent Podcast. I'm Gunner. And I'm Joe. And we missed a week. Yeah, we took, t- we took a week off. Took uh, a hiatus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not that I'm sure many of you missed us, but maybe some of you missed us. But we're back. We're going to talk about some stuff. Uh, we'll first start with some of the stuff that we missed from last week. It wasn't necessarily big, big stuff. It was just kind of stuff. freaky deaky stuff. So, uh, there was a big, big interview thing that Walter Hamada did and stuff talking about, you know, future of DC stuff, and in that interview, he said something about Zack Snyder's Justice League will not continue in any way. They have no plans for that to continue in any way as of right now, which I'm just saying that's not true because you see how fast that Wonder Woman did on HBO Max, and then all of a sudden they were instantly just like, bam, here's Wonder Woman 3 already we're, we're working on it right now we're gonna fast track this movie to get it written and start you know getting into it and stuff and actually making it it's like listen what they're doing is they're gonna wait until Zack snyder's justice league goes on hbo max they're gonna see how yeah. well it does and when it's the biggest thing that draws anybody into their streaming service they're gonna go yeah definitely let's keep moving forward with what he's already set up as a universe and I, was, stuff. I was about to say i've seen a lot of stuff with Apparently he's not doing DC in general. Right. Supposedly. Well, I mean, yeah, because Zach even said, he's like, as of right now, he doesn't necessarily have plans to do anything else. Yeah. He said that this would be his last thing. But if you listen to his words, because everybody heard him say that, and they were like, oh, so he's done after this. It's like, no, he. it's not that he doesn't want to do anything else. He says that he has ideas. He just doesn't have plans to, you know, finish those ideas. <coughs> Bless you. So... <laughs> Jeez, bless unprofessional you again. <laughs> yeah i know that he had like something where it showed him and in the background some people saw a picture of like wonder woman with like a bunch of dead heads or whatever oh yeah 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 that was actually something that he originally had as an idea it wasn't a picture behind him but yeah oh. it was some picture that he showed and released and talked about recently uh he was originally gonna show that picture and batman versus superman instead of the World War One one. Yeah, it's what he. It was supposed to take place in the Crimean War, so. Yeah, she's got a bunch of decapitated heads, and yeah. she didn't learn that humanity isn't fucked up. Yeah, she went. I'm just gonna kill people. Yeah, it's right there. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, uh, so then that yeah, there was that, and then there was of course a lot of stuff that came out after that. Uh, like when Walter Amada said something about. You know, the State of Justice League, Ray Fisher came out and started saying, nah, that's not going to be true, blah, blah, blah. And then it just got real heated again. And then all of a sudden it said there was news websites going, well, Cyborg just got written out of the Flash movie. He's supposed to be in it. Now everybody's like, nope, he's out. He's gone. Ray Fisher sent out more tweets and other stuff saying, that's not true either. And he's like, I wish people would stop saying that. He's like, I don't know that. He's like, the last that I talked to anybody, I'm in the movie. He's like, I know I'm in the movie. He's like, but if that's something's changed, then Warner Brothers needs to talk to me. He's like, but as far as I know, I'm still in the movie. He's like, this is kind of bullshit. So yeah, I, I really do kind of hate that there's so many websites, too, that are just trying to just... If, War- if supposedly somebody from Warner Brothers said that he's out, they're just like, oh, he's out. When that's not true. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I don't know. There was also a lot of weird stuff coming out, too, with Batman, because they're saying that there's going to be two Batman moving forward in live action, which yeah. everyone knows is supposed to be Robert Pattinson, and then it could be Ben Affleck, or it could be Michael Keaton, and it's like, it could be all three of them. I don't think it's just the two. I mean, yeah. there's a lot of rumors suggesting that Ben Affleck could continue as Batman and stuff. After Zack Snyder's Justice League. Again, it all depends on how successful that is. If it isn't successful, obviously they're going to want to go, all right, forget it. Just move forward. We're done. We don't want this. But if it's successful, like it's going to be, they're already talking about doing a theatrical release for it at some point. So it's like, obviously they even know it's going to be successful, not only on the streaming service, but even in theaters it'd be successful. Yeah. So it's just the fact that people are like jumping to so many conclusions is just ridiculous. I mean, they just really need to kind of calm down. <laughs> but anyways, uh, 
the, also last week we got a trailer for the new Superman and Lois show on CW. It was a real quick trailer. Apparently, him and Lois in this show are going to be together. I think they live in Smallville now instead of Metropolis. And they have two sons, but they already look like they're in their teenage years. Which doesn't really make sense. That would mean this show takes place like a long time after Supergirl and some of the other stuff. But I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't really watch the show. Person, I might check this one out. Just because, I mean, Superman and TV's done okay. Usually, he's usually pretty cool in TV shows and stuff. So, And he got a new suit and it looks ten times better. So... <laughs> It might actually be worth checking out. I'm not sure yet. Um, further going on with DC stuff. Apparently, this is another thing that came out from some of the Walter Model stuff. They're looking to do spinoffs for almost every DC movie. Why? I know. I was like, uh, they basically want to take the what if idea and kind of do that, but it's more so. Oh, you know that side character you just watched in the movie? Well, here's their own adventure. Like, no, don't don't do that. It just that's stupid. Cause it, it's 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 kind of like a what if, and also kind of like a Disney Plus thing where they're kind of doing that, but it's different. It's very different from how they're doing it with Marvel characters and stuff. It's not like every character gets their own spinoff show. Yeah, it's still gonna be like really big and affect the main story of what happens moving forward in Marvel movies and stuff. It's not just a spin-off show of, oh, well, this kind of happened in the background and stuff. It's not like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. or something where it's like, yeah. they're not really going to mention it. It'll be mentioned for sure. Yeah. It'll have lasting effects on what happens moving forward. Whereas this just seems dumb. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I really don't, I don't want to see a, who would they do it over? The random guy that, you know... Wonder Woman raped and took over. I was she about to say, I'm, sit, I'm, 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 I'm sitting here trying to think of a joke of who they would do it over, and I just, I don't remember those movies. Right. <laughs> it just, it, ugh, I don't, I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. But anyways, that's pretty much it for DC stuff. Uh, we can go ahead. And, oh, real quick. I want to say this. The Resident Evil movie has wrapped filming so now they're editing it so i'm really excited it got a real cool picture too to show that it wrapped i was like that's very resident evil well, so i'm big excited for it i know you don't care about resident evil that's what i'm saying say <laughs> so I'm, I'm excited so uh if you want we can go ahead and we can jump to some marvel news do you want me to do mine first oh no 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 i'll wait okay so as we know uh wandavision comes out this friday big excitement around for everyone it's going to consist of nine episodes which was confirmed and it's going to premiere with two episodes which is funny because i i don't i technically predicted that on accident because i had a dream that i that wandavision had come out and i was watching them because i'm so excited like i was for the mandalorian usually it doesn't happen mm -hmm. like two weeks ahead but i had a dream that i was watching it and in the dream, I watched an episode, and then I was with my dad, I was like, oh, it's over. And then I was like, oh, wait, there's another one here. And then they announced that, like, three days later, and I was yeah. like, crazy. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for it. I think everyone is excited for it. It's something new Marvel-related. Getting two episodes is going to be cool, because, I mean, that's an hour or more of content that we're yeah. almost getting. <laughs> it's, it'll be like we're getting a new Marvel movie in a way. Just not really. <laughs> so. yeah. And then all the early reviews are in for the show. There's a lot of people, critics, and other just fans and stuff who've gotten lucky to see the first few episodes. And I mean, the, everybody's just saying it's great. I'm about I mean, to say, I know that I've seen some Instagram posts where it's like, here are some of the reviews. And I'm like, I don't want to read this. Right. So I, I think it's pretty cool. Oh, damn. I forgot one. Sorry. Dummy. Going back to DC real quick. How dare you it's something not even a big deal it's this green arrow and the canaries show on cw apparently they were going to continue the arrow show with just black canary because there's pretty much three of them now and it doesn't make sense but the black canaries so they were going to do a show where it was them together and now they canceled it so oh well <laughs> i don't i don't care about that one that's why I congratulations <laughs> So, uh, there was also now rumors of Christian Ritter 
might be reprising her role in the She-Hulk series. Which I would be thrilled. No, yeah, that'd be, <laughs> it'd be, it'd be real cool. And it would make sense, you know, especially if she's, you know, gone back, you know, a little bit lower because recent years and stuff, I guess, in the Netflix show, she's been getting a real big and stuff. If she goes back just being like a detective and stuff, maybe at some point somebody reaches out to her and you just kind of see her and stuff because they've hired her to, you know, help look into a case or something. Yeah. Try to find out more evidence because she's really good at that. Or if she Hulk asks for help in right. that way or something yeah. like that. Which would make sense since, you know, everyone talks about, oh, is Daredevil going to show up because they're both lawyers and superheroes? Mm-hmm. It's like, it would also give reason for Jessica Jones to show up because be like, she'd be like, I knew a superhero lawyer once. Right. I mean, she's, she's, yeah. And then she's just a, she's an excellent private detective. So, I mean, she could be able to figure it out and stuff. Which I'm, I mean, I'm excited for it anyways because I've been watching uh, an old show of hers that Don't Trust to Be in Apartment 23 with my mom. Mm-hmm. Fucking hilarious. And mm-hmm. that. So my mom was like, if you like this, you should try Jessica Jones. It's superhero stuff, but she basically acts exactly like this. <laughs> I haven't heard of that show. No, it's on Hulu, but I don't know. I don't know if it's on yeah, anything yeah, else. I don't, I don't got no Hulu. So, uh, also something that came out is apparently Loki season two has been yeah has, has been, been confirmed, confirmed. Uh, which is a weird because the first season still isn't even out yet. We don't even. I mean, we got a date where we think it's supposed to be coming out, but definitely. I know that some people might were kind of like wondering whether or not his show was going to somehow connect back to the bigger MCU so they could have Loki back. I feel like them doing this, confirming a season two already means that it probably won't. Yeah. Cause I feel like the reason they haven't done that, cause it's like, cause I, I kind of had a brief thought of like, Oh, why, if they're doing it for Loki, why haven't they done it for WandaVision since it comes out sooner? But it's because that has a very like moving forward theme for it all. And that's, that's like the same way it's going to be for Falcon and Winter Soldier is, it's going to go, here's a story. Okay, now everything's going to continue yeah, in the movies. Yeah, I feel like those will definitely be more like limited series more than actual it, shows that continue. Yeah, because it'll help progress the bigger story and that's a united universe and everything that's going to be connecting and all that stuff. And so I feel like that's why... I, I feel like that's kind of kind of helps the theory that he won't be coming back in the big, big boy. I mean, I feel like he could he could but i'm just saying i I still think maybe they just maybe they want to tell more in a second season and kind of spread it out a little bit and then eventually they could build up back to that you know it just it it just all depends i guess i mean like i mean listen that could be the overall end game of the loki series it could be like three seasons of fixing dimensional stuff or whatever he's doing with the tva and and the at the end of season three he's like thor i'm back and thor's like bitch <laughs> oh speaking of thor there's uh chris pratt uh karen gillen she plays nebula and who's the other person tisa i was about to say i also thought they, I, they all landed in australia to film thor i also 4. i saw a picture that was like here's the confirmed cast of thor 4 and it looked like palm clementif was in there the chick that plays mantis i was like who yeah, she might be. I don't know. I, I know that she's it would make not sense. Right, I know that she's not there right now filming. Yeah. So, but I know that those three are. So, meaning majority of the guardians are going to be in the movie. Hopefully, we don't forget about my man Craglin again. Craglin, the man this was severely Captain. forgotten. I want to know what happened to him. I'm just saying. I, I want to know what happened to my man Craglin. He's he's with them at the end of Guardians two. All of a sudden, we see Infinity War, and it's the Guardians on their ship. And he ain't with them. And then we see him at the very end of Endgame. You can briefly see him, yeah, but that's it. But it's like the same thing as Howard the Duck, where it's like, look, we're standing here. All yeah. right, you're not going to see any close-up of me doing anything. Exactly. I'm, I'm like, man, what happened to Craglin? Craglin's the guy. He's the new Yondu. He's got the fucking whistle arrow. It's like, <laughs> come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, we also have confirmation for sure, I guess, now that... Oscar Isaac is going to be Moon Knight. I thought that was something that was already confirmed, but... I was say, how many times does this have to get confirmed? Seriously. I mean, it's just because... I think it's just because of what happened with She-Hulk. Now everybody's like, all right, we got to double check. <laughs> we got to double check all the time. <laughs> Everything. Um, you go ahead, sir. What do you... All have? right. What do you have to contribute to this 
nonsense. Practically <laughs> nothing. God damn it. I keep putting it away because I don't realize that I have it out. Come on. Uh, Put it away. Uh, Keep uh, it out. Armor Wars. <laughs> so it's, apparently it's confirmed, so they say, that Sam Rockwell will return as Justin Hammer. Woo-hoo! And Dominique Thorne will be uh, Riri Williams in Armor Wars. Makes sense. I don't know if Ironheart comes out before Armor Wars or not. I don't know if they've said they didn't say. So, I mean... I feel like it would make sense if it... It makes sense. I'm just wondering, like, in what variable way, if I it's going to be... Iron, if Ironheart comes out before, I think that would make more sense. That's what I was thinking, It would thinking be more interesting too. to see him go kind of, like, confront her about it, but then at the same time be like... You're right, like the new cool. Tony Stark. Yeah, he'll be like, all right, it's fine. Whatever. You're okay. Everyone else, they gotta be stopped. You wanna help me? Yeah. And maybe they kind of work about together. To say, team up and everything. But if it's before it, Ironheart, that would be a little weird because then it's like Rhodey's being the motivation for her to I was about to say, Rhodey's like, L- hey, little girl, help me. I mean, she's not little, but so it's like, yeah. hey, young woman, help me do this stuff. And then she goes, I want to build one of those. Ching, 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 ching. <laughs> So I don't I don't know. Well, I, I guess we'll have to set interested the either way. Exactly. Um. And then, uh, brief maybe actual not really Spider Man news. Oh no. Uh, apparently J J Williams will be a villain of sorts, and he has Spider Slayers supposedly. Um. J J Williams. J J Williams. J J. What the fuck is his name? J. Jonah Jameson. Jesus Christ. I was like, who is J. J. Williams? I was like, I ain't never heard of that man. No, in my I life. was reading <laughs> Villain and it translated in my head to Williams. But it says that there will be plenty of J.K. Sillian... J.K. Simmons as. J- I'm having a stroke. J.K. Sillians. <laughs> um, also, it says the multiverse will bring Electro Jamie Foxx from Spider Man 2, but it will ha- he'll have a new look that looks like a mix of the spectacular Spider-Man look and the way he appeared in Spider-Man PS4 and will be the second biggest villain compared to Kraven. And then um, it said that Alfred Molina is back as Otto Octavius and has new look uh, and has one scene plus a fight scene. His stuff has already been done. Um, and it was apparently one of the first things they filmed. Doubt. Yeah, no, I doubt that too. Willem Dafoe will be Norman Osborn for the MCU. He's Big not. Doubt. He, I really. Big it doubt. would be amazing if he did. Oh, dude! And I, I would love it. And I but... feel like he would, but I don't think they're smart enough for this. Yeah, no, I don't think that they're gonna keep. I mean, that yes, they know that the fans love Tobey Maguire's movies, but they're not just gonna make everyone the same person as fucking Tobey Maguire's movies because it's gonna confuse people. I was about to say, I think Alfred Molina is still from another universe. That's why it says he only has one scene in a fight scene or whatever. Yeah. But... And then the person... Because it apparently... can't be from Tobey's, though. Yeah. Unless they just show footage of before that movie was over. And they're like, oh my god, that's Spider-Man. Okay, bye. Yeah, if they show, like, the train scene or something. And it's weird because this person, apparently this came from someone and the person was like, I was very surprised they're going this route. But if he didn't already play him in the Raimi movies, it's perfect. What? Why are you reading one? I don't, I'm so confused. You're like, uh, uh, Anyway, apparently Tobey Maguire is supposed to have 10 to 15 minutes of footage and Andrew Garfield has a bit more. It's closer to 20 minutes. And then the person's like, I think the fans will be happy. I don't think that's true either. Just because it's kind of already been said that it was like, if they are in it, it's pretty much only going to be cameos. Yeah. So to all of a sudden go from a cameo to 10 to 15 minutes for one of the biggest ones that you're going to be paying out of the ass to get on this movie. Yeah. To 20 minutes for the other one as well. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I don't know. It could be true. It could be because I mean, Kevin Feige talked about some of the rumors. And there, said that there could some be things true. are surprisingly accurate. Willem Dafoe. I would you want him to come back? Oh, dude, yeah, okay. I love William Dafoe's Goblin. He was hilarious. I just but... like I just I don't know why, but just and I know that I feel like after seeing him in Spider Man, I'm like that guy's a bad guy. So I didn't like him for a while, but now that I've seen him in some stuff, I'm like fucking love. Like if he's in something, I'm like. <laughs> 
I don't know if he would do it just because I, he's always doing other movies anyways. And then I know he's said before in some comic book movies, I mean, it gets confusing to him about what's what. And he's like, I'm already doing one right now. Because I know he said something about he got offered a role for something in Marvel a while back and stuff. And he said no, just because he was doing the DC. Aquaman. Yeah, he was doing Aquaman. And he was like, I just, I, I said no, I don't want to get too crazy and confusing. So, I was like, I mean, I guess. If you just don't, if that's not your cup of tea, obviously you're going to be you know, confused by it, so, but, anyway, um, so, and then the last thing I have is apparently, uh, one, it's a rumor that one of the Ghost Rider hosts, the female one, uh, Alejandra, apparently, I mean, go, Ghost Rider, man, that shit's fake, don't read that shit, it's got Ghost Rider with titties, dude, I'm seeing it right here. <laughs> Alejandra Jones, look her up, see if she's real. But I apparently, I don't. It's not. She ain't real to me. She's a woman. Damn, got, got him. him. Fucking it's just no joke. rights. It's just <laughs> jokes, people. It's just jokes. Calm down. Ghost writer, more like ghost washer. Got her. <laughs> Damn, bro. Cancel culture coming for our ass. And anyway, <laughs> uh, apparently it's a female ghost writer, and it's weird because the person's like. Uh, just the host will appear, so I don't know if Ghost Rider's gonna be in it or not. Mm-hmm. So I'm confused. But apparently they're gonna be in it for, and then uh, it could cause for potential for a spinoff film or Disney Plus series for the future. And this person talked about how Kevin Feige has already said he wants to do something with Ghost Rider in the future, and this could be hinting at it. But I don't know. Like I didn't even know there was a female Ghost Rider. Just, really it makes sense. See... There's usually been a female or and male version of almost every fucking character that's ever existed. Yeah, I just want to see what happened to Robbie because that that man pulled up, said, "Look, I know how to make Doctor Strange portals," and he went to hell. And then we didn't see him come back. And it was super weird too because they even referenced him. I think in. The last season of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., they were like, oh yeah, we knew someone who had demons too. Because someone was like talking about the devil or whatever. Mm-hmm. It was like, oh, we knew someone with demons too. And I didn't realize it the first time I watched it. But the second time when I rewatched the whole series, he said, Coulson said that. And I'm like, why didn't they bring him back yeah. for I that? I don't I don't know what happened to him. I know that they were there for a while. It was being planned. He was supposed to get his own sh- excuse me, show. And then they didn't. So it's like, all right. Cool. And then, you know, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. may or may not actually exist. I think up till season five should. Yeah, six for and, sure. Six and seven are, oh, 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 oh. but up to five, it's pretty much undisputed that they are in the MCU because the timeline of events follows identically. Yeah. I mean, because they, they, yeah, even in, what was it, seven that they mentioned Thanos and everything? It's like. Well, in. The was thing that, six? No, that, was, that was that was five, because uh-huh. they they go to the the world agency committee or whatever, oh. and they're like, "Oh my god, Thanos is coming!" And Talbot's like, "I'll fucking fight this Thanos dude, whoever the fuck he is." And then of course all of us are like, "Fucking Thanos would wop, wipe, wa- <laughs> wipe the floor with you, dude." Like I almost wish that Thanos. Like, <laughs> could you imagine if their last episode just all the budget went to just having Thanos go? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh my god, my gravitonium. But Dude. no, the thing in season seven that connects him the most, because I remember when I was watching it, I was kind of telling you about it. I was like, it's the quantum realm stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it looks pretty much identical. I'm like, oh my god. I think it kind of is. It just, it's there's some things that you're like, mm, maybe not. <laughs> Bring Coulson episodes. back. I want to see him in a movie. Put him in Armor Wars. Sergeant Rhodes, I'm um, with I, the Strategic to Homeland Security. He'll be like, I fucking know you, dude. Shut the fuck. I'd rather see, you know, Robbie come back, but you know, or any of them. Even better, can we finally get my man Johnny Blaze back again? Get Keanu Reeves. Okay. Get Johnny Blaze. <laughs> I was, <laughs> I was I'm like, just he... saying. Come on, it'd be cool. He loves motorcycles. That's half the part of Ghost Rider is motorcycles. I mean, he drives a fucking badass motorcycle that turns into a demon motorcycle that's even more badass. It's called a ghost rider, but if he drives a car, that's just a ghost driver, homie. 
Got him. <laughs> Got him. Big roasts day going every, on. Every ever. Let's look up some more versions of Ghost Rider. How how many can I get? Nine hundred thousand. I mean, we can't forget about the one from the Nicolas Cage movie that rode on a horse. And then, of course, then there was the second one in Ghost Rider Two. And stuff. Uh, Nicolas Cage used a crane and he turned it to a demon crane thing and he operated. Ghost it. Builder. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I want to build so many fucking houses, man. You just <laughs> fire, and everyone's like, oh my god, That's, the house. That part was so fucking stupid. That second movie is terrible. Whereas I can watch the first Nicolas Cage Ghost Rider, and I'm like, I like this. It's it's not great. Remember the part where I he like pees it. fire? Yeah. <laughs> That's the, the second one. That was hilarious. That was the best part of the second one. What was the whole thing that kid... What? I don't, I don't want to... I don't care. What do you mean? Because I know that kid could, like, tell that he was the Ghost Rider, because, yeah. like, it showed it from the kid's POV, and he's like, oh my god, it's a skeleton man. I'm a skeleton man. No, he had, like, asked what it feels like when you pee, and he's like... And then he pees in front of him. Yeah, he's like, Which is like, you know, fire. close to some sort of that illegal thing. That second movie was filmed so weird, too, though. That was another problem I hated I told, that second l- listen, movie. Listen, I don't remember that much it, of it's, it. It's filmed with this really gross filter over the camera so everything just looks so orange and dark and weird but it, they also just do really weird camera shots where the, it's like everything is almost always tilted it's it was a really weird movie my dad man. doesn't seem to understand that people have visual stuff because he'll see that stuff he's like why is it yellow i'm like it's a filter he's like what i'm like come on dude really come on <laughs> come on well, we got pretty much, I think, one last thing really to talk about. This is apparently from some kind of interview that Kevin Feige did um, with Collider, and he confirmed that Deadpool 3 is happening. It's going to be rated R still. They're still trying to confirm, yes, it's going to be. And this was, I guess, the most interesting part is he says that it's going to be in the MCU. He says that it is... Not just going to have jokes or anything about the MCU. It's going to take place in the MCU. They're working there on their, you know, the best that they can to make sure it makes sense of how he moved over to that. I'm like, it doesn't really have to make sense. I was about to say, he could just be like, oh, I was, yeah, it's Deadpool. He could literally just be like, oh, wow, interesting that I was just written into this universe. And people were like, haha, joke. And then he'd be like, all right, let's go do my thing. Right. I, I. I think it's kind of weird that Marvel's like, oh, listen, we can't mess up our canon. We gotta make this make sense. Like, you don't really have to make it make sense with Deadpool. He doesn't make sense that's, as a character at all. That's his whole all. point. But otherwise, I think that's all the news we got. What are you... We, here's the issue. We don't really got too much to talk about. Because nothing, nothing happened. happened. So, and that's another reason we decided to take last week off. was Just because... We had the, we had that Warner Brothers news to talk about, and that was pretty much it. And so we were like, Ugh. and and we like to suck off the tit of streaming <laughs> services and stuff like that, which it's like, admittedly, I'm not like the biggest fan that we do every single episode because I know that some people like do like end of season stuff and they talk about it as a whole, or at least they don't put as much. But still, I think it's more fun to do it by episode because we could break it down more and talk about it. I know I'm just talking about like for like main podcast, no. but there's no other shit coming out is the thing. So it's like, what else are we gonna do? Yeah. And it's hard to find yeah. shit that people haven't done before. Yeah, true. It's like we're gonna talk about this. Well, these people, are, whatever. So, <laughs> uh, we decided that as a as a jokey meme situation, Memes. we're gonna talk about some. Hollywood controversies. Oh no! In recent times, we're gonna get canceled for sure. Watch Jesus. this video. Watch this get taken down. Um, I doubt it. We're not big enough for anybody no, to no, give no, a no. shit. So <laughs> I'm gonna just, I'm gonna talk about just, just, just to get us into it. I'm gonna talk about some stuff that was not super old. It's happened within like the last seven years or something. Mm-hmm. But we're gonna go back a little bit. All right, take me back. Set the scene. First one again. I'm doing mo. I'm- <laughs> I'm doing most of this because some of this shit's just fucking funny. All right. Uh, but one of the things, so I'm going to, I mean, I guess Ghost in the Shell is obviously a noticeable one because everyone was like, ooh, Scarlett Johansson is an Asian. And that's pretty much the only reason they were mad. They whitewashed an Asian. Oh my God, for an anime. <laughs> Which it's like. Which is supposed to appeal to American audiences. So I wonder why they did that. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. And then the thing, like the chick that played Alita was an Asian. Yeah, no. She was like. 
They just I'm said, not, she wasn't they white. They just said CGI, big eyes. <laughs> well, again, like, she wasn't Asian, so it's not like, and no one complained about that. It's like, oh, but, you know, ugh, whatever. I don't get it. I don't either. I still see the values of that movie. Scarlett Johansson in a skin tight suit. Sure. 20% of it. I never watched it. It looked like shit. I'll show it to you. <laughs> no thanks. Oh no. Anyway, this one I've literally never heard of, but I just looked up controversial movies. And when I heard of. I was about to say, I can't talk. When I looked at why it was controversial, I was like, that's fucking funny. Kind of. Okay. So okay. apparently, this German dude made a movie called Nymphomaniac. And he. De- he debuted it at a film at the Berlin Film Festival in like 2013, 2014. Mm-hmm. And it was so graphic that the some of the audience members fainted Damn. while watching it. And one reason was cuz it had really graphic abortion scenes. Oh. But another reason was it was it's one of the few movies which I feel like it's probably rated in C17 for this. Mm-hmm. But it's one of the few movies that has unsimulated sex which i was kind of confused as to what that means and what that means is porn <laughs> like in rated r or whatever like you know uh they went back to the old school snuff films that you can go yeah. watch in the dirty theaters bro because like, like like in like in deadpool he has sex with his girlfriend but you don't see his cock going her right she's just naked and he's like on top of her like oh yeah you like that bitch but apparently this it like showed the actor's dick going in this bitch Okay. Again, that's the only thing I know about it. And when I heard that, I was like, that's kind of fucking funny <laughs> that right. someone made a movie like that and said, I'm going to put it in a film. How did it get in the film festival? You have to go through like trials for that shit. Yeah. <laughs> they showed them an un- you know, an edited version of the film. Uh, then they said, penis. <laughs> uh, and then, okay, and then we're catching up a little bit. We got The Predator. And I, I didn't look at why people said that, but I think I know. And it's just because they said, look, autism is cool, yeah. kids. Yeah. That was the main thing. Because I remember watching a I review. think a big part of it was just because the movie was bad. I mean, it was a bad movie. They brought in the super predator who's like, I'm basically a god until an autistic kid beats the fuck out of me somehow. <laughs> I don't remember how that movie went. I was so excited for that movie. Stupid. I know. I was pumped up for that movie. And then I went and saw it. It, it and showed it the just... super predator. And I was like, oh, humans and predator have to combine to fight the super predator. And they said, no, nah, your basic predator's dead. And now this other one's going to kidnap an autistic child because autism is evolution, apparently. Yeah. Cause... No, I, I went and saw that one with a couple of buddies. And we just sat in that theater laughing our asses off the entire time because that movie was just funny. I mean, it it wasn't good. It was just no, funny. I, I saw it with my dad, and because I had such high hopes, and, like, again, I was with my dad, and I don't really talk to him during movies. Watching that, I was like, this is fucking dumb. No, no, I enjoyed it just because of how much me and my buddies were laughing. I think we were gonna, we, we kind of got in trouble, too, just because there was other people in there that were like, can you shut the fuck up? I'm trying to watch this series. Quit laughing at autistic kids. <laughs> But no, it's like, why would you, like, someone even talked about it, it's like, oh, this this movie does movie autism, where it's special and a good thing, and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay. Well, because they, I mean, that is how, they're like, autism is evolution, and then they have the autistic kid figure out a fucking alien species yeah. and device in, like, two minutes. He's like, yeah, they did it! Look! Explosion! And I'm like, how, what? No, this doesn't make any sense, kid. Yeah, well, I think... Moving forward in Predator movies, too. I think they're supposed to get rid of that movie from their canon. And wow. I think that what their next movie is supposed to be, what I've heard, is they're wanting to continue um, Predators. Where they oh, go where to they're like on the that alien planet. planet. Yeah. yeah, they go to that. Or no, planet. I guess that's not the home planet. Not Yeah, it's not their home. It's, it's their big, hunting planet. It's hunting planet that they have. Because there cool. was still the one guy that survived. There was the one guy. Didn't he survive with the girl, too? He might have. I thought it was just him, though. I don't remember. I think, it, I think he survived with a girl because it was... I know the last three was those two and Topher Grace, and Topher Grace is like, I'm a bad guy. <laughs> yeah. And then the main character's like, why don't you go fight your buddies, you stupid little predator bitch? And he's like, fine, I will. <laughs> but and yeah, no, that's what I've heard. If they, if moving forward with Predator, that's what they want to do is continue that. That'd be cool. Because then it would, you know, in that they talked about a lot of the lore of the Predator creatures and their creeds. And, yeah, through you know, Lawrence. What, fish burn and stuff like that. Yeah. And then, again, there was the predator that all the other predators were like, little bitch. <laughs> He's like, ooh, me. 
So I think I, I do think that'd be cool if they continue that. Either that or just go back to what made Predator cool in the first I place, like the first hope or second one. They do a new one that's good. I feel like if you do a good one, like the I, second one, that'd be cool. Where he's in the city again, because that's just cool. Yeah, that's that was a cool idea to put. You know, you go from first movie where he's in the jungle to the second one where he's in New York, a steel jungle. It was like this is fucking cool. I'm trying to think of what other like location put him in the desert. <laughs> that would be boring. I know. Shit. <laughs> They'd be like, oh my god, his footprints are right there. Shoot him. Uh, I I, I feel like. It sucks being our age, I feel, because it's like, I don't know about you, but I know that I got into this stuff kind of late, because I remember when I was young, I wanted to see horror films, but at the same time, I was like, ooh, that thing, it's scary. But when I got a little bit older, I was like, yeah, fucking curse words are cool, kids, and I started watching more stuff like that. It's like, I like Alien, and Terminator, and Predator, but we haven't had a good one. Yeah. Since, like, like, at least... Uh, at least <laughs> at least with like star wars rogue one and solo came out and it was like i'm excited and i got to see like a new star wars film that was cool because yeah because the sequels are bad <laughs> but uh <laughs> but it's like i haven't had that with all these and i've liked star wars since i was a little kid and stuff like the prequels are like i mean like the prequels are still coming out when i was a kid technically i think you dying I was born in 2001, but still, Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith came out while I was alive. I didn't see yeah. them in theaters, yeah. but I could have. But it's like, we don't really have that for like the Alien movies and stuff. I mean, Alien Aliens tried. It. I haven't seen Alien Co- I haven't seen Prometheus or Alien Prometheus Covenant. is not great. Alien Covenant it, yeah. is pretty good in all respects. Oh, yeah. Especially, it's a mindfuck, dude. That, that movie's crazy. I like it more than Prometheus. I think they're getting closer. I think the next one, if they decide to do one, is going to be good. They're doing a Hulu series, so fuck movies. We're doing Hulu series. Oh my god! Anyway, um, <laughs> and then, you know, like, Predator, bleh, and then uh, Terminator has had a rocky history for a while. Oh, I'm Jesus. Just leave Terminator alone. I think Genesis could have been better if it was rated R. That's my only issue with it, is if it's not rated R. Because I saw that it wasn't rated R, and I'm like, that's pretty unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, I because I still enjoy Genesis. I like Genesis. I thought that there was things about it that I was like, "This is fucking." I stupid, get but... the complaints that people have, but I like it as a movie. I think Amelia Clark's good in it. I think Arnold Schwarzenegger's good in it. I like Jai Courtney's cool. Yeah, I was trying, I was like trying to work my way up into remembering his name. Yeah, but I think they're all good in it. I think it's interesting the premise it had, and then the fact that it ended with Arnold Schwarzenegger going, "I have liquid arm now." I was like, "Oh shit." here he comes and then they're like no it doesn't exist and i was like oh fuck man dude really yeah they said we got dark fate instead and we're like yeah this really is a dark fate because it's fucking awful (laughs) it's a dark fate for this franchise you just buried it (laughs) it's dead but But the problem is is that they'll try to dig it back up and do it again i mean halloween came back though i haven't seen any of the originals but like halloween that's true halloween halloween had some really bad ones for years and they, it's come back and they said 2018 none of that other stuff exists just the first one and this one baby yeah. still wish they would have kept halloween too i think it could technically count i haven't watched I, that's it what, what am i, I said, what am i saying i think i the only reason i say that halloween 2 should exist is because the fact is that the only thing that kept it from being canon is that the, that's the movie where they hint that laurie strode might be michael myers sister but then in this new one, they're like, fake news. Yeah, exactly. They literally say that. They could have kept two, because they don't explicitly say, yes, she is, her si- his sister. Yeah. They say, maybe she I is. I think the only, because Michael gets out in that one, doesn't he? Like, he escapes or starts killing people again. Well, is it Michael... takes place the same night as the first Halloween movie. Yeah. He got up and from the lawn after he got shot and just started walking away. He was injured, started killing people. He went and fixed himself up, heard that Lori's in the hospital, and said, cool, I'm going to go to the hospital and start killing everybody to get to her. So the whole How movie does... starts taking place in the hospital with him killing people. Then they end up lighting the ho- hospital on fire, and they, he blows up in the building. It How was did... supposed to be the last Halloween movie, but then they said, nah, chief. <laughs> How does How does it end? 
Does he the die? hospital blows up and he dies. Mm. That's supposedly what everybody thinks. Then they did Halloween 4, not 3. I was about to say, 3 is canon. No kidding. 3 is awful. I fucking hate 3. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> it has nothing to do with Michael. No, because apparently they the Halloween movies were supposed to be supposed all to different. Be, they, yeah, it was supposed to be an anthology series where it was one story happens and then there's another story. The only reason they did the second one was because they were like, well, this one made a lot of money. We'll do it again. We could, we could do something else with it with, now that we got more money, and we could still do cool slasher stuff. I think the only reason, it. the only big reason two couldn't do it is because they even said that like, oh, this is, this guy's the cop that found Michael Myers after he escaped from Lori after he was shot. Like apparently he wandered out, and then the cop was like, I got him. Yeah, there's a scene like that in Halloween too, though. There's a scene where somebody. But I'm saying it like keeps going until he blows up in the. Which in the new one, they're like, oh, he's been locked here for 40 years. Which I feel like some of the other movies have to exist for him to like want to come out and kill people so badly. Because I'm like, if he's been locked up for 40 years, why would he... So- I don't, whatever. I don't... He's just a psychopath. He's crazy. Likes to kill. He's a crazy... We got on. Well, yeah, we gotta get on the back to... Controversies. The controversial movies or whatever we're talking the fuck about. Do you remember the controversy with Joker for a little bit? What the yeah. fuck are you doing? Uh, people are like, oh my god, the Joker, there's gonna be mass shootings again because that one mass shooting. And that was stupid. I, all I know is that second. when people were saying that, all I was thinking was, that mass shooting didn't even have Joker in the movie. Yeah. Because it was during The Dark Knight Rises, yeah. which, you know, Heath Ledger was dead at that point. Yeah. But yeah, people were just like, this is gonna incite riots and so- something. I don't fucking remember. Dude. We're not going to get political. I was going to talk about the Capitol thing. Don't fucking talk about it. My dad's retarded. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> the hunt. Huh? That was a big deal. That was postponed a whole year. Yeah. Because there was the... Uh, there were shootings just in general that year. And they were like, we're going to do the hunt. Fucking satire comedy gold, baby. And then they were like, oh, we probably shouldn't be doing that because people are actually dying. Yeah. I still want to see that movie because I think it looks good. Sure. It looks like ass, but okay. Bro, it's... That's why I was like, why did they delay it? It looks like it ain't going to make any fucking money anyway. I thought it was interesting when I saw the trailers and then when I saw a review, I'm like, I'm interested to see what jokes this, this movie has. Because I feel like it has jokes. But, uh, you ready for... We're, we're going to save the big one for last. Save the big one for last. Then we have Mulan. Mulan. Which the reason that that was controversial for a few different reasons, no like super big reasons. One was just the fact that they're like, we're putting it on Disney Plus, and people are like, cool. And they're like, give us thirty bucks. <laughs> I'm just like, wait. I couldn't even find. I still couldn't find an option to do that though. That was my thing. I it was like part of Disney Premiere, and I'm like, click, and then it's like. It's part of Disney Premiere. I'm like, what if I want to buy it? Like, it never gave me a prompt to buy this Disney Premiere thing. All you have to do for, for me, like, I was looking at it one day, and you just go to the movie and just say, buy the movie. They didn't say that for me. Prejudice. Uh, but another reason that's controversial is because the uh, main actress in it apparently was saying some pro-government stuff in China, which they're trying to do some democracy riots and stuff like that. And, uh, so China was like, how dare you? Yeah. We, 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 we supported your first one because it was supporting us. But now you're saying this shit. And Disney was like, well, hold on. They're like, no, it's too late. It was just a bad release, pretty much. That's what the controversy with that one was. Cuties. Cooties. That's the, that's the big kahuna right there is cuties. Yeah. Child pornography. Out of. Some of the most movies that have been coming out. I mean, that's the biggest controversy. Is it still on? Recent years. I want to see. I don't know if it is. It probably is. They're like. I don't know. It's just we like, reserve our right to show child porn. I wouldn't necessarily say it's child porn. I know. But at the same time, it does. Over sexualize children. Yeah, it, it definitely goes a little too far, and it's just like. Uh, it, wait. Yikes. It's it's a weird movie. I haven't seen it. Dude, this just like, what the uh, fuck is going on in this trailer? They do still have it, by the way. That it does. What the hell? That's not how you do your hair. 
it's this girl. <laughs> the main character is going to do laundry, and she's sitting there, and there's some like other eleven year old, ten year old girl like twerking and shit in the laundry room, doing some over sexualized dances, and then she just starts ironing her fucking hair like on an iron board with a fucking hot iron. She just puts her hair on and starts fucking doing it, and so this chick Whatever is. Works. And so this black chick's like, I'm going to do that. And then she burns some of her hair off. I, <laughs> whatever. Um, now let's get into people causing oh. controversy. A lot of these are COVID, but I still think it's funny. So apparent. So let's get off with, get off. Let's kick off with uh, Evangeline Lilly. When the whole COVID started, she said, I'm not going to social distance. And then eventually she said she would. I don't. People were really making a big deal about it. That was still during the time where it wasn't even. I think during that time it that wasn't required for you to wear a mask yet. I don't think. I don't know. I know Madonna said that Corona is the great equalizer. Great equalizer. I don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> I guess it was supposed to like cleanse the earth or some shit. I don't know. She was on yes. some weird shit um chloe kardashian uh tp'd her sister's house amidst the time where people were not able to get toilet paper and people are like people are like what the fuck is wrong with you and she's like i'm a kardashian i think those people need to die jesus i fucking I mean, their show is finally thank god Basically. so their popularity will as well yeah no, it was like the same day that the Kim and Kanye fucking divorce thing happened. <laughs> Do you think like, he had yeah, sex with Jeffree Star? I don't even know who that is, but no, I don't think so. Because <laughs> that's it's some drag queen. Beauty. I, I don't think so. I don't think Kanye is like that at all. I, figured, I, I feel like he'd be like, I'll swing that way. Especially with his whole gospel god thing that he did recently. Well, it's funny because like, like, that'd that's be a... weird if all of a sudden now he's like, <laughs> Yeah, come tell here. that to all the child raping pastors, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, uh, no, I think it was kind of funny. Cause it was like literally that same day, and then Kim Kardashian posted some video or something that they've officially wrapped for the last keeping season up or with the Kardashians or whatever. And I was like, thank God. That means their popularity might finally die off. I doubt it. I think cl- one of them has a fucking beauty line. Whoever that one is. Well, I don't know. Anyway. It doesn't. They it don't doesn't deserve. Matter. They don't deserve it. It's on their news. Kylie Jenner, she's like, "Stay home, don't go places." And then she posts videos of her like going on vacation to a beach and stuff. And people are like, "The fuck's wrong with you? You just told us to stay home, and now you're out being a slut again." Yeah, she's got a private jet. She she's fine. She's social distancing. On the beach, beach. Yeah. Let's go get a wave. <laughs> Uh, speaking of which, apparently uh, Justin Bieber and his wife, as well as I think Kylie Jenner again, they're like, we work hard for our money. They no, don't. They don't. No. <laughs> Justin Bieber said baby three times in a row and then moaned and fucking prepubescent girls went, ah! The fucking audio just went, he <laughs> did that. <laughs> but uh, I mean, I'm not wrong. I was in fourth grade. I know how bitches back then were like. Okay. People kept saying I look like Justin Bieber. Wanted to fucking kill myself. Enter emo years. All right, so now for some real shit. Apparently, Chris Pratt. Apparently, people were saying he was anti-gay, which I didn't even know about. Anti-gay, because apparently his church is like anti-LGBTQRSTUV. <laughs> Damn. Uh, oh yeah, I, I heard about all that. It was stupid. <laughs> and he's like, they're not. I swear. I don't know the extent of that. I was just telling someone that these were the topics I had, and they were like, what about Chris Pratt being anti-gay? Chris Pratt's, like, usually nice. And I never saw anything that said that he was anti-gay, just that his church was, which he then decided he had to go, well, stop, this is my church. Don't do that. Yeah. Which, let it die, dude. Find a new church. Yeah. Depp versus Heard. Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard. Yeah. A lot of a lot of shit going on there. Mm-hmm. 
Amber Heard says, I, I've been abused. Johnny Depp says, that's a lie. She took a shit on my chest. And he has audio of her literally admitting that she's abused him. She says, yes, I'm sorry that I abused you. <laughs> Fucking pussy. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. She literally is like, I, I didn't even hit you that hard, but if you consider it abuse, then I'm sorry. It's like, shut the fuck up. Well, then it's interesting, because then she also said that, like, she's going to donate whatever money she gets out of her divorce settlement, and then she won the settlement, and then didn't donate anything. So now everyone's like, you said you were going to donate. Yeah. And then everyone on Johnny Depp's side were like, you fucking it. Why do you think we were going for Johnny Depp, you retard? <laughs> it's because he was the one telling the straight facts about getting shit on his chest. I don't know. I don't. That's so weird. Yeah. That, like out of everything, that's the thing that I keep thinking of because it's like, how did did he wake up while she was doing it? Was it after the fact? I feel what like prompted her to do it? I feel like he probably woke up. It's like, what the fuck? Why is there a stinky butthole in my face? Gross. That's why you lock your doors, dude. Well, they were sleeping. Married. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like the 1950s and keep your exactly. bed Exactly. Follow WandaVision before she uses magic to combine the beds. Go somewhere else. We never really got to talk about this, so that's another reason why I wanted to do this. Tom Cruise's rant on the set of Mission Impossible oh, 94 yeah. or whatever they're on. Mission Impossible 94 takes place in 1994. <laughs> Wonder Woman, Will let's it be go. significant of the year? Not really. Just like Wonder Woman. <laughs> anyway. No, yeah, no, I know. That was something I did want to talk about. But yeah, it was it was funny. So <laughs> It was just like him freaking out because there was people that broke COVID guidelines. Go wear your fucking mask. It's really good. So he, I talk- he, got real, he got real mad. I was like, damn. I talked to my dad about that. And I was like, did you hear about this? And he was like, yeah. He's like, I think he overreacted. And I was like, I would have done the same thing if I'm going to be honest. Yeah. My dad was like, what? And I was like, I was like, they're trying to film a fucking movie. It's like, it's like, again, for those who don't know, he even said in it, he was like, we have people whose lives depend on finishing this movie. We have other industries that depend on this movie being created and released. Movie theaters. Yeah, exactly. They got We're dying. Movie theaters. You got, I mean, you know, paying for advertising stimulates economy which they would have to do for that movie and everything. And then even after the fact, you know, it could go to a streaming service because most of the Mission Impossible movies are on Amazon Prime, mm-hmm. which, you know, would stimulate people who work at Amazon and all this other stuff. And it's like, these two people go, excuse me, you want to talk? Um, but yeah, no, he fucking lost his shit. And I'm, yeah. I'm like, got him. And then, <laughs> and then he loses his shit. He's like, who the fuck caught me losing my shit? Yeah. I'll fucking kill you. You. I thought that was funny. It was like literally a day after that audio came out. Then he was like, all right, we got to have this conversation again, but a different kind of conversation. And then literally it was like three people got fired. Two other people just left the project. And then he said, fuck it. We're stopping filming. I'm going on my Christmas vacation. Go fuck yourself, everybody. We'll come back when we're all better and feel more like in our mindset to work on this movie. What it sounds like to me. It sounds like there's a couple open positions in the Mission Impossible movie. There you go. Dropping out of school, baby Tom Cruise, here I come. I'll wear seven masks. I'll sweat my ass off all day. You want your coffee, sir? I can't drink that on set. I have to wear my fucking mask. Get the fuck out of here. (laughs) Here's your coffee, and here's your private box so you can drink your coffee. He'd be like, initiative, I like you. He'd be like, hey, hey. Got him. If I found out that he was like, you high? What are you doing? I'm stretching my neck. Fuck! Why do you always have to stop whenever I do something? You're like, content. <laughs> if it's something funny, sure. But anyway, yeah. No, I yeah, mean, yeah, 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 yeah. If I knew that Tom Cruise was like, I need someone to film this position, I'd absolutely go. There you go. Like, can you pay for my flight? I'm not flying. I don't want to fly. I've never fl- Have you ever flown? Yeah. Damn. Not on like a big plane and going anywhere else, but I Beaky got in a plane. little plane and flew over Kansas and it was fun. I've never. But I didn't get to pilot it. My brother got to help pilot the plane because it was one of those that's like, you know, 
There's the two instead. Cool pilot, yeah. So he kind of got to fly it, the pilot. I have. And then I sat in the back the entire time and I said, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> you just put your face up against the glass. You're like, Ooh. I have never been disconnected from the ground aside from when I'm jumping. Wow. <laughs> Always have connection. Wow. No, it was pretty cool. It was scary at first, but it was pretty cool. I, I, I know, dude. No, I'd have a heart attack. Take some Sorry. fucking night quill. Put me to sleep. Anyway. Anyway. Crazy times. Sure. One division will come out next week. Mm-hmm. Does it technically just have eight episodes if they're just showing the first two? Right off the bat. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Because <laughs> we're only going to cover I mean, in eight podcasts. I mean, well, technically, if you're going by that logic, then it only has seven. What? There's nine episodes. Three. One, two, seven. I mean, that's... that's... What the fuck are you talking about? You I'm said... including the first two as one. Why would you do that? It's two separate episodes. Because it's coming down at the same time. So? It's still two separate episodes. Semantics. Depends on how you view the world. Sure. What a, what a fucking time. Mm-hmm. Got him. <laughs> What's another really Ghost Rider? I'm going to look up a Ghost Rider. Jesus, why do you, why do you want to know? <laughs> gotta Gotta have this joke, bro. Gotta finish it off. Gotta have an epic joke. It was a big wheel ghost rider. Big wheel? Oh well, like my general, god, I've like talked ge- to you about big wheel before. Like General Grievous? Stupid. Yes, yeah, like General Grievous. <laughs> it's a Spider-Man villain and he has a wheel just like that. It's oh, got yeah. guns on it. They do it in the Miles Morales game too. Uh, Jesus. I looked up ghost rider carriers and I got flight plans. There just had to have been a ghost rider that used a plane. Ghost flyer. <laughs> ghost rider hosts. That's what I'm looking for. Mm. Oh, 100. There's two females. What the hell? Ghost rider 2099. I saw a thing the other day. Someone did a fan art. And it, they had a... Uh, Gina Carlo Esposito. Also known as... <laughs> I just love really? saying his fucking name, dude. Uh, he's gonna be in Far Cry seven thousand seven eight nine twenty. Uh, they have him. He's gonna be in that. He's Moff Gideon in Star Wars, and he's the boss of the boys, and he's Pierce Hawthorne's half brother in Community. Mm-hmm. Anyway, someone did fan art with him in a Spider-Man Miles Morales outfit, and they like changed out load, mm-hmm. and it was like. Miles Morales, twenty ninety nine, and I was like, "Oh, that's interesting." Yeah. But then it was also funny because someone was like, uh, "Spider Man twenty ninety nine is some guy named Miguel." And the per the person who posted it was like, "You're that's why he says Miles Morales, you fucking idiot." And I was like, "Got him." Yeah. <laughs> but uh, oh, I saw something like that too. Looks like a lot of them. Just, one of them just called Vengeance. I don't think what. I'm not Ghost Rider. I'm Vengeance. Well, like, I looked up Ghost Rider hosts, and it's like, you know, Robbie Rez, Jonathan Blaze. Jonathan? Yeah. Jonathan Klonkin. Uh, Alejandro Jones, and then just one's just Vengeance. And I'm like, who the fuck is Vengeance? I don't know. What's your name? My name is Vengeance. Are you, like, a superhero? No, this is my name. <laughs> this is my name. Oh, there's three females. Oh my god. The plot thickens. Charlie's Angels, but all of them are Ghost Riders. <laughs> Charlie's Ghost Riders. <laughs> Make it happen. Sounds like a bad porn parody. Charlie's Riders. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Anyway, and we're we're done. We burned out. A long time ago. In a galaxy <laughs> far, far away. We're done before we even start it. I'm hungry. Me too. We're going to go get something to eat. All right. Later, people. Bye, guys. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next week with actual content. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> we might post some stuff. Who knows? Something might be coming up. We're not going to post anything I have about a... Wanda with Vision? Vision? I, sorry, yeah. <laughs>
Idiot. I had a plan for Valentine's Day, but what the fuck did my plan do? The fuck? Yeah, no, I listen. Listen, homie. I I'll have... do it by myself. I can do it. I was gonna do <laughs> Group masturbation starts yeah, in five we're minutes. We're gonna have a live stream, baby. Good God! Go to us at Twitch.com/slash/ZombieHater92, baby. Twitch cock. Uh, oh no! Shut it off. <laughs> like a 